Hello and welcome to our second webinar in our series on the basics. This is Keith Thompson, Customer Service Manager for ASG Viz over here in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, we make V-Ray for Rhino and V-Ray for SketchUp. And we also put it to good use with our in-house visualization services. So, stop by and check that out. Uh, before we get started, I did want to take a moment to do my shameless plug. Um, did you guys know that you can get tons of free materials right from our website? It's true if you go over to Downloads and then over to V-Ray Materials. Well, there's a bunch. Um, I actually had a customer the other week who told me that it was like a candy store. <laughs> I really like that metaphor, so it inspired me to take a moment to share that with you. Fun little fact. Um, this time around, we're going to be taking some time to get into greater detail regarding a floating licenses. How they, do, how they work and what to do when they don't. Uh, you may be wondering, what is a floating license and when would I need one? Well, the answers are kind of simple. A floating license is a way to allow multiple computers connected to the same network to take turns using V-Ray. This comes in handy if you have a setup where all of your workstations get wiped clean every year or so, or if there are only a few people in the office that need V-Ray but never at the same time. So, first things first, let's go ahead and get or set up a floating license here on my computer. For the purposes of this training, I'm going to assume that you've already finished installing V-Ray for SketchUp and haven't gone about activating it yet. So you can refer to the other webinar I did on installing. And when you get to the part about activation, skip over to here if you need to. Otherwise, it's a standard installation. So it shouldn't take too much of your time. Now, with a standalone license, normally you would go and open the host program. In this case, we're going to be working with V-Ray for SketchUp and it would prompt you to activate. Instead, because we're doing a floating license, we're going to do it a little bit differently than we normally do. So go on down to Start, and then to All Programs, and you'll see this little listing for ASG Viz here. Now, what we're going to do is launch the Floating License Manager. You'll see that here. We've got to set you up with a license. So right now I have one. So I'm going to hit Add Existing License. As previously stated, we're working with SketchUp this time. And now we're going to need my serial number. Hang tight, let me go get that and we're going to punch it in here. Now if you have more than one seat you can tell it right here. I only have one seat so let me go ahead and put that in there and I've successfully added my license. So one last step and that's to start the license server. You do need to do that every time you start your computer. So to that point here's a little pro tip for everybody. Go back to start all programs and ASG Viz. You've got this little link here that hot links you to the license server what I want you to do is create a shortcut, and you'll see I've got my shortcut there. We're going to take this shortcut over to the startup folder, and we're just going to drop it in there. So now every time I start the computer, it's automatically going to launch that server, saving me the need to have to. So that's that part. Now we need to actually configure V-Ray to go get that floating license. So I've opened up SketchUp here, and I'm going to start using it. Now. I get my ASG Viz product license window, and I have a floating license, and I would like to use that. So here in the setup window, we need to enter this license server. You can do that by IP address, which I don't normally do, or you can do it by the computer name, which I'm going to do for this training. So to get your computer name, right-click on the My Computer icon. You may have it on your desktop. In my case, it's on my Start menu. And go to Properties. Right here under Computer Name, you'll find your computer name. So let's go ahead and grab that. I'm going to copy it in my clipboard. I don't need this window anymore. And I'm going to paste it right here. Yep, my settings were updated successfully. OK. And I may need to get or restart SketchUp. Pro tip, you don't normally have to. So it is in the process of loading now. And there we are, V-Ray buttons. So we've set up a floating license. It's not too awful difficult. It's pretty easy to do. Now, sometimes this doesn't work 100%. Uh, I've seen that. Well, it's my job to see that. And 90% of the time, it's something related to a firewall. So make sure that you have your firewall either turned off or configured properly. A lot of people have two firewalls, like a software firewall like McAfee or Norton, or there's a million of them, and the Windows firewall turned on. To me, that seems kind of redundant, so I always turn mine off. And here's how to do it. Anytime something goes wrong, the first thing to do is to make sure that the Windows firewall is turned off. So let's open up the Security Center here and go over to Windows Firewall. Right now I'm set to off. Simple as that. If you want to leave it on, it's the only firewall you have. There's an exception list here that you can go to. 
And these are the two you want to worry about, VRL Server and VRL Service Module. Make sure that they're on the exceptions list. Otherwise, just turn it off. And if you have no firewall and don't want to get bugged about it, there's another pro tip for you. Change the way Security Center alerts me. That's the shut up button. So, that covers that part. Another issue that I run into from time to time is when, for one reason or another, V-Ray is not releasing the license when somebody closes SketchUp. So if you have two people, only one seat, and one of them can't check out a license, it's likely because somebody either has SketchUp opened, or it thinks that SketchUp is still open, so you can kill that through the task manager. Typically, those are the only things I really see go wrong with it. Um, that's all I really wanted to cover with the how-to part. So, before we go, I guess I'm going to take one more moment to do a final shameless plug here. And that goes for our training. Did you? I talked about our training last time, and I'm going to keep talking about it. The best way that you can become a pro is to take some time to sit down with the pros. So we have online training right here with uh, Fernando, is who you normally be talking to. We do it over the Internet at the price of $120 an hour. That covers one student. You can see the full price list here on the store link. And that wraps up our floating license tutorial. If you guys have any questions at all, you can email me at support at ASGBiz.com. Thank you.